Little Jackalope of the Amateur Sleuth Blog. I'm reviewing the Nancy Drew Diaries series, starting with book number one, Curse of the Arctic Star. This series changed the reader's third-person perspective to Nancy's first-person perspective. You read the story as if in Nancy's head as she monologues her thoughts. Hence the name Diaries. Dear Diary, Bess, George, and I are actually in Alaska. Everywhere you look, there are massive mountains and sparkling deep blue waters. We're on the maiden voyage of the Arctic Star luxury cruise ship. And my old friend, Becca Wright, the assistant cruise director, needs our help. She received threatening emails before even setting sail. Then a bloody body turned up in a swimming pool. And when a chandelier came crashing down in the dining room, we began to think the Arctic Star is cursed. There are so many passengers on board, I don't know where to begin. But I better hurry. If I don't act fast, this might be everyone's final and fatal voyage. As a long-term fan of Nancy Drew books, I've decided to rate my book reviews on these factors. One, the mystery and story. Was the overall mystery a good one? Did it have all the elements that make a good mystery? A big question that needs answered, a good suspect list, and so on. Number two, Clues and evidence. Were there a lot of good clues and evidence that helped piece together to reach a solution? Was that evidence hard? And did it help Nancy determine the culprit? Three, snooping. Every Nancy Drew book has at least a little bit of snooping involved. Did Nancy eavesdrop? Examine confidential information? Discover secrets and hidden things? Four, thrills. Every Nancy Drew book must have a little bit of danger and intrigue. Was Nancy threatened? Was she dissuaded from solving the mystery? Did she run into danger? Five. The theme. If you haven't noticed, each Nancy Drew book has an overall theme to it. Was this one interesting? Was it unique? Different? Fun? Did you learn things? Did you get immersed in the environment? Here's how I would rate this book. The mystery and story, plus one case file. A brand new state-of-the-art cruise ship is setting out on its maiden voyage. And a lot of things are going wrong, suspiciously. Threatening emails come in, things get broken, celebrities get scared away before even embarking, and so on. The assistant director, Becca, Nancy's friend, calls her in to help her figure out what's going on. Since the case is too minor for the cops to come and be involved, calling Nancy is a good idea. Clues and evidence. Uh, this one didn't quite provide very many clues. Most of the leads that Nancy has to go on in this book are mostly all alibis, motives, and opportunity. There's a lot of speculation, which does, in the end, help narrow down the culprit. And thankfully, the suspects in mind does confess when accused. This mystery was really about figuring out who was where and when and who had the opportunity and if their alibi checks out. Snooping. I'd give it a half a point. Nancy does some investigation in off-limit areas and trailing suspects, but she never snoops in anyone's stuff. Bummer. There's a little bit of snooping and a little bit of eavesdropping, but that's about it. Thrills plus one magnifying glass. There are exciting moments like a body in the pool, Nancy almost getting pulverized by a statue, and some other moments where she gets knocked into the icy Alaskan water, and she's continuously in danger of blowing her cover. She does get a threatening note in the story. Also, even though Nancy nabs the culprit at the end of the book, it does leave a cliffhanger. You must read the next book. Theme, plus one badge. The main theme in this story is the cruise ship and Nancy and her friends get to enjoy the full cruise experience. The VIP suite all for free thanks to Becca. Nancy, Bess, and George must maintain their cover as contest winners so as not to attract attention that they're actually there to snoop. Miniature golfing, fancy dinner, sunbathing at the pool, shopping, and tour activities take up most of their time. Since I've never been on a cruise, this book gives me a good idea of what it might look like. There you have it. 3.5 points for this book. A few side notes. Even though she looks a little bit young on this cover, it is stated in here that Nancy, Bess, and George are in their late teens, which is average for most Nancy Drew books. The book is a good, easy read without being too young for the average Nancy Drew fan, like me. Check it out for yourself and share with us what you think of this new Nancy Drew Diaries series. Share your comments with us in the comment box below. You can get this book and others at herinteractive.com. Stay sleuthy.